Patrick Lawrence, Editor-in-Chief of Natural Home Magazine. And today we're in Boulder, Colorado. We're standing in the formwork for a house that we have been, whose progress we've been tracking. This is a house whose goal is to be lead gold and to be a net zero energy home. The house is being uh, constructed this summer. Today we're going to watch them pour the concrete into insulated concrete forms and it hopefully will be ready for the homeowners to move into by Christmas. Hi, I'm Scott Rodman. I'm the architect for the Foxtail Residence in Boulder, Colorado. Today we're going to be looking at the installation of the ICFs, the insulated concrete forms that we chose for the foundations of this house. Insulated concrete forms have a number of advantages. They greatly reduce the amount of concrete that is required for the house. With this particular ICF, we're looking at a reduction of about 50% versus conventional forms. We're also using a mixture in this concrete that uses 30% fly ash. It is a byproduct of coal producing uh, power plants and it's used to replace some of the cement in the concrete. Insulating concrete forms have a number of advantages. The first is that we're able to use less concrete than conventional foundations. In this case, a little over 50% less concrete. Second is that we have a very high insulation value for the insulated spaces. We have insulation foam on both sides of the wall. And we're also able to keep these foam forms in place so there's no waste in the forming process. The concrete is also encapsulated inside of the insulation envelope, which helps to increase the thermal mass of the house, which helps to regulate temperature from day to night. Having the higher insulation value and the thermal mass internally helps to create warmer winters and cooler summers inside the house. It also provides a very acoustically quiet house and a very strong and fireproof house. We're using ICFs everywhere where we would have concrete below, uh, below grade. So every place where we're doing a foundation wall that you see here, we decided that using ICFs would create a superior wall and a much more energy efficient envelope for the house. ICFs can be used for the entire house, but their biggest advantage is any place where you're planning to have below grade walls. On this particular house, because we have very large areas of glass to accommodate the expansive view and the modern design, we also needed to have a particularly strong wall every place else uh, that was not glass. The ICFs met that bill structurally. This is, uh, this is one of the blocks that I install. It is probably my favorite block to install because of the strength of it. Uh, one of the advantages of this kind of block and, and an ICF block or insulated concrete forms is just like stacking Legos. The blocks are hollow inside, you stack them, and then you pour concrete in the middle. Of course, you put rebar in it, and so uh, it's going to create the strength that you want with the concrete constructed, constructed wall. One of the advantages of an ICF form is that in this block in particular, you can see that there is a foot on each end of the form, end of the, the plastic tie. And this is embedded into the foam. It also comes up into the form above it. And the reason it's called quad lock is we've got four panels here that are going to be tied together through these, um, these ties. The advantage with an ICA form is that when you pour the concrete, you're ready on the outside wall to put siding, to attach um, the wire mesh for stucco. So you can put your exterior finish right on the outside of this form, of course, after you waterproof and take care of that. Then on the inside, this is ready for drywall. Uh, an advantage with this is that, that you have attachment points every 12 inches. So between here and the next tie is going to be 12 inches. Between here and the one above it is going to be 12. And so as soon as the concrete is poured, you can start framing. And this is an advantage because with a conventional concrete wall, you'll have to, after the concrete is poured, and after you tear down the forms, you'll have to put foam on the outside as a thermal barrier. Uh -huh and then you'll have to frame the inside for your, your interior walls, plus put insulation on the interior walls. Well, with an ICF form, all this is done in one labor. And one labor takes care of the concrete, the foam on the outside, the framing on the inside, and the insulation on the inside, and so you're ready to go. And so one labor takes care of three or four different labors otherwise with a conventional concrete wall. To follow the construction of this house, check out Robin's blog from the front porch at naturalhomemagazine.com.